ex-defense minister states ETs from Andromeda and Saturn's moon visiting Earth for thousands of years. There are already dozens of claims in favor of extraterrestrial visitations, and nowadays numerous astronauts and government officials support the UFO UAP phenomena, and some are highly positive that they could have an alien origin. The Honorable Paul Hellier, who passed away in 2021, Former Canadian Minister of Defence said extraterrestrials have been visiting our planet for thousands of years and it's likely that at least two of them are working with the US government and sharing their highly advanced technologies with humans. In the 1960s, Paul Hellyer, a high-ranking official during the Cold War, asserted that he had discovered with certainty about the existence of aliens while serving in the military. He said that people from other worlds had been coming to Earth for a very long time he insisted that a lot of the stuff that makes up our high technology gadgetry had been gifted to us by overly advanced ETs. Hellyer had long ex expressed his views on extraterrestrials in public. He testified at the Citizens' Hearing on Disclosure in May 2013 in Washington, D.C. Five former members of U.S. Congress and one former U.S. Senator listened to more, listened to more than 30 hours of testimony from government officials, military personnel, researchers, and witnesses. Huffington Post Canada described that as part of his testimony. Hellier stated that aliens are living among us and that it's likely at least two of them are working with the U.S. government. And more specifically, Hellier announced that at least four species of extraterrestrials had been visiting Earth for thousands of years. According to Huffington Post Canada, he also stated that some extraterrestrials originate from Zeta Reticuli, the Pleiades, Orion, Andromeda, and Altair star systems, and may have different agendas, he said. He first spoke openly about his belief governments are covering up an alien presence back in 2005, saying UFOs are as plentiful as our sky, in our sky as airplanes. He said, much of the media won't touch it, so you just have to keep working away at it, and we will get a critical mass. And one day, they will say, Mr. President or Mr. Prime Minister, we want the truth and we want it now because it affects our lives. In 2013, Hellier appeared on an interview showing uh, the show with the Sophie company, Sophie Severnadze, to discuss extraterrestrials and UFOs. And she asked Hellier, what do you say that UFOs are? As, uh, why do you say they're as real as airplanes flying over our heads? And Hellyer replied, because I know that they are. As a matter of fact, they've been visiting our planet for thousands of years. He further stated military action had brought down UFOs and humans had adapted alien technology for us on Earth. He said, as far as the technology is concerned, they are light years ahead of us. And we have learned a, a lot of things from them. A lot of things we use today we got from them, like LED lights and microchips and Kelvin vests and all sorts of things that we get from their technology. We could get a lot more as well, especially in the fields of medicine and agriculture, if we would go about it peacefully. But I think maybe some of our people are more interested in getting the military technology. And I think that's wrong, wrong-headed. And that's one of the things we're going to have to change because we're going to have to work together, all of us, everywhere on the planet. And uh, then he was asked, have you ever had your own ex encounter with aliens? And Hillary replied, no encounter, not encounter with aliens, no. I've seen a UFO about 120 miles north of Toronto over Lake Muskoka, when, where I have a cottage, two years ago at Thanksgiving, which is October, my wife said that she wanted to go out and look at the stars, so I'm not much of a night man, but I put on my cap and went out with her, and she looked into the eastern sky and said, there's a star, and I turned the other way and said, oh, there's a much brighter one over here, and she looked there, and we watched it until our necks almost broke for about 20 minutes, and it was definitely a UFO because it could change position in the sky by three or four degrees in three or four seconds. And then uh, she further asked Hellier if shooting down those UFOs was riskier, uh, risking an interstellar war, and if so, should we be creating a Star Wars force to defend ourselves from possible invasion or something like that? Hellier said, I think it's, it's a possibility, 
But it's a possibility, especially if we shoot down every UFO that comes into our airspace without asking who they are and what they want. Right from the beginning, we started scrambling planes, trying to shoot them down, but their technology was superior enough that we were not able to get away with it, certainly not for a long time. And he continued saying, during that period of time, they could have taken us over without any trouble if they wanted so to. So I think rather than developing our own Star Wars to protect ourselves against them, we should work with the benign species that are our vast majority and work together and rely largely on them, of course, and cooperate so that we would be contributing something at the same time. I don't think there's a point in us developing a galactic force that would tempt us to ride on our own and get into mischief, which is one of the things that some of them are concerned about. On countering physicist Stephen Hawking's assertion that any alien visitors to Earth would likely be malevolent, Hellyer argued that not only have aliens already visited Earth, but that they have helped contribute to humanity's technological progress. He said Earthlings owe a lot to their alien friends. He said even that computer screen on your desk, he said, can trace its origins to spaceships, microchips, for example, fiber optics, they are just two of the many things that, that allegedly, and probably for real, came from crashed vehicles, Hellyer said. Hellyer was not the only one speaking of partnership between humans and extraterrestrial intelligence. The former head of the Israeli space security program and retired General Haim Eshed also claimed that a sort of agreement had been made between aliens and the U.S. government to keep silent on their experiments on Earth and secret bases on Mars. Mr. Eshed said that aliens in Galactic Federation do exist and have been working with the U.S. and Israeli governments for years, but they kept it a secret to avoid mass hysteria. According to him, President Trump was aware of it and has already been in contact with space aliens. He further said that the aliens have been waiting for humans to evolve and reach a certain stage to actually understand space and spaceships. Besides, they signed a contract with humans to do experiments on Earth and also reach them, research uh, with them uh, to learn the fabric of the universe. And this is by uh, House and Wives, Vicky Verma. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.